Hi, in this specific video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress using cPanel and Fantastico. Now, before we get started, if you don't know if you have cPanel or not, then you'll want to contact your web hosting company. If you find out that you don't have cPanel, don't worry. In a separate video, we'll show you how to install WordPress manually. Now, if you don't have web hosting at all, then you will need to get some before you get started. We'd actually recommend that you hop on over to HostGator.com. They provide you with cPanel and Fantastico to help you get started. So with that said, go ahead to your cPanel, enter your username, your password, and click on login. This is your cPanel here. And to access Fantastico, you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and look for the blue smiley face. Fantastico, if you're not aware of what it is, is basically a bundle of software put together with a lot of free scripts that you can install on your website. Now, this is WordPress right here, so if you want to click on this, then click on new installation and the first thing you want to do is to figure out where do you want to install WordPress now if you want to install WordPress on yourdomain.com then you'll just leave this blank here however if you would like to install WordPress in a subdirectory you will want to fill it out here so in this case, I'm going to install WordPress in a subdirectory. Let's say, for example, that I want to create a blog on t-shirts, funny tees. And then what you want to do is enter your administrator username and password here. Enter your nickname. We'll just make one up here enter your email address, enter your site name, funny t-shirts, check these funny t-shirts out. Click on install WordPress and you're almost done. Click on finish installation and this is the information that you will need. You'll need your username, your password that you created. And if you click on this link, it'll bring you to the dashboard. Now, before I actually log in, I do want to say that if you want a copy of your username and password, all you need to do is enter your email here, click send email, and you'll get a copy of the username and password. So let's go ahead and log in. So great, we've installed WordPress on this website. Now before I end this video, I want to show you how to update to the latest version. Unfortunately with cPanel, when you do the install, it installs with a certain version. And if you want to update, all you have to do is go to the top. It says WordPress 3.4 is available please update now. So if you click on here, click on update now, enter the host name, which is localhost, enter your FTP username and password, which is the same as your cPanel username and password. Click on proceed. And this process will take a couple minutes because it's actually downloading and upgrading WordPress. And congratulations, you have completed the installation and the upgrade to WordPress 3.4.